Hey, it pulls me good day, everybody. This is Sports Center News. I'm Dvorak, and this is going to be the latest edition of our Philadelphia Phillies podcast. Please continue to subscribe down below. Up above the East Beach Widget as we check in on some minor league deals that the Phillies made. Acquiring a former top prospect to a minor league contract, a decent maybe diamond in the rough guy to add in Justin William. A very good career minor leaguer in John Adrioli who can field, pick the ball good in the outfield, and also run the bases really well. And then Aaron Barrett, who of course is another minor league veteran that had spent some time with the Nationals in the major leagues and has about a career four ERA in the major leagues. Um, so they add some minor league veterans. And on top of them, they also added a minor league veteran, Drew Maggie, shortstop third baseman's never been up in the bigs, but has always been good down there. And then Joe uh, G. Nord um, at first base, Carl Ellison at catcher, and James Marvel, who the lone guy with some major league experience in there um, as well at the right-handed pitching position. Those guys don't have any spring training invitees where um, for Williams, uh, he will be somebody that will uh, be <clears throat> in spring training. Uh, it's also going to be interesting to see if Aaron Barrett, um, if he's going to be somebody that they also bring into spring training, having that experience, again, having a 4 ERA and limited action, I think it was 90-something games in the bigs, but he does, that's not too bad and too shabby for a guy you can use as a long man or something like that. In spots that are tricky spots, you have to get a couple innings out of somebody. But when it comes to Williams, he was a former second-round pick by the Diamondbacks dating all the way back to 2013. Uh, with the Rays, he never really got much of a chance in the cards. He didn't do much last year. Uh, other than he showed some ability having that big time double he hit that I think it was like 115 off the bat if I remember correctly from last year and then he had four uh, dingers if I remember correctly but his big thing um well one in the minors he has been really solid when you just look at his overall numbers but his overall play he could run the bases really well he brings pop he brings fielding ability but he also just brings that extra just kind of when he's playing the game and you watch him in the minors at his best, that old school level of being able to get on base and then pick up the next base, if you let him be himself, he's a, he seems like he could be a pretty solid base stealer if he's ever able to catch it at the big. On top of being a good fielder, he's good at he's solid at getting to the, to get gaps in the outfield as well. So you got a good fielder, an underrated fielder, definitely a guy in the minors at least that's going to be a very good hitter and a guy that has a chance to grow in the bigs because the Phillies – at very least, could use a very good fielding uh, speedster. Um, not, I don't know if I would call Williams a speedster, but fielding fast outfielder off the bench that can come in when you need somebody to come in. Because it's not like Chris Bryant, if, say, the Phillies do add Chris Bryant, the best outfielder fielder. So you could add somebody like a Williams, put him in there, and that really helps your fielding. John Adrioli fits exactly into that category as well. He's not anybody that's ever going to wow you at the plate. Um, he's a guy that has some speed, has some good fielding ability, and is a guy that you can throw in the pinch run, and he'll be good at that. So that both of these guys, but one in Justin Williams, still has kind of that more diamond in the rough potential at this point because he hasn't figured it out yet at the major league level, but he's the one that has that diamond in the rough potential. Then you have Adrioli, who I think would be a favorite right now to make it as a backup outfielder just because he's been up before. He can field. Um, he can bunt pretty well, but he's not necessarily a great hitter. And he can run the bases really well, so you can sub him in later in game. So I would say uh, Williams and Adrioli would be the biggest favorites out of the people we signed to make the team. And then maybe Aaron Barrett, if you want somebody that can pitch a few innings at a time and do stuff along those lines. But when it comes to the Carl Ellison of the world, the Phillies have a lot of catchers. They brought in Garrett Stubbs and others in the offseason. I don't really see him fitting into that fold. Marvel, we have a bunch of other right-handed pitchers. I don't see him getting the nod unless he really impresses. And then Joe Janord is just kind of for the minors, and so is Drew Maggie. So I would say out of this group, there's interesting names. But Adrioli might make the team from the jump over Williams. So Williams gets minor league time. But I think the Phillies organizational hope would be he can be that diamond in the rough guy, Justin Williams, that is. And then those two will flip, and they can kind of find guys that other organizations tend to find, not our Phillies, which are those scrap heap guys from other teams, but then that you bring in, and they turn into good players on your team. That's what they're hoping Justin Williams becomes. And, of course, some of the other pitchers they brought in during the course of the offseason. I don't think Aaron Barrett is really the um, biggest name for the Phillies when it comes to some of the guys 
they brought in in the offseason that they're going to try to get going, like the Ken Emanuels of the world, especially the Knables, the Johan Lopez's. Like, I don't think he's really the biggest name that they brought in, where Justin Williams, when it comes to position players, is one of the bigger names that they brought in to a minor league deal to kind of monitor to see what he's going to be able to do, particularly in spring training. But everybody have a great day and pleasant day. This has been the most recent edition of the Sports Fan News Phillies podcast. Please continue to subscribe down below. Up above on the easy to use widget to keep the channel going and growing to 215 by the end of March. Go Phillies and let's start making moves. Peace out, everybody.